Hey everyone, this is Tom with another weekly update. This week we've continued to work on Alpha 4, getting that ready for you guys. Thanks for everyone who helped us test on the Steam on its stable branch. That was very helpful. We got a lot of crash reports. And as a result, we've been able to fix, I think, most of the crashing bugs. The game is a lot more stable now. So what I want to show you this week is our progress on some of the other things we're doing in preparation for Alpha 4 release, which is take some of the new features and just bring them up to a level of polish and completeness that we can feel proud giving them to you guys. So let me just do a little business here so I can show you that stuff. So let me design a couple of buildings. Um, one thing that you'll notice is uh, right away the tools in the build editor remember sort of the state they were in. So if I like a particular kind of material for my walls, right, I can put that there. And then as I flip back and forth, you know, just makes your life a little easier so you don't have to constantly click on the thing. Um, last week I showed you how you can have different styles of roofs. And this week I can show you the roof editor. So there are lots of options. So the odds of you being able to pick the right one exactly the first time are low, so we're going to give you the ability to edit these things. And so you can see, like, uh, I can change these on the fly, right, um, and pick a shape I like. And then I, I can actually set the maximum height of the roof, so I want, to, I want it to go higher or lower. That's in my control. And so I can come over here for this guy. Maybe I want... Uh, his roof to go the other way, north south. Um, yeah, or maybe like all three directions, like that. And then set its max height pretty low. And then, of course, I can come in and put in some doors, put in some windows. So, door. Oops. Still have some work to do on the tool side. Window, window. Right, so that works. Oh, that's good. So, um, this is actually pretty neat. The variety that you can have in your buildings as we add like each successive option is getting you know, richer and richer, which is the idea. Every time we add an option, we want it to be able to be used in combination with all the other options, and that's how you get variety. So, yay. Um, another thing we've added is I've, with the assistance of Doug, uh, our sound guy, and Chris, our VFX guy, um, added a little bit more pizzazz, I guess, to the red alert option that we showed you before. So when your town needs to go in like to town defense mode, you sort of hit this button. Right? And everyone sort of stops what they're doing and they get at the ready. You can see they've got their their hammers and their tools out and they're waiting to see if anyone's going to strike. And then when you turn that thing off, everyone goes back to business. So just a little bit more, you know, fun stuff, visual cues, and you can see sometimes they bring out a hammer and sometimes they bring out a pickaxe right here, oh, there. So that's fun. And then one more thing to show you is the work we've done on combat. So you can see we've sort of amped up the effects. We're trying to give you a pretty good indication for when guys are taking damage. Um, yeah, and we win. Hooray. So, that's what we've been working on. Basically, fixing lots of bugs in Alpha 4. Mission accomplished. Oh, you can see she, she's getting better. Um, and then adding sound effects, adding visual effects, uh, adding more options for construction, and basically, you know, finishing off these features that we want to give to you. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope to have Alpha 4 for you as soon as we can. And um, I'll see you next week.